Good morning, church. Well, here we are. We made it to Friday. Uh, and I don't know about you, but I have just found this to be a much more fulfilling week. Even, um, even though it, there have been, you know, trying moments and busy days, and I think I'm far more behind on many tasks and lists than I'd like to be. Um, having this time every day and knowing that that we're doing it together has just been a game changer for me. So I'm glad that we get to end the week this way and that we still have many more days like this to look forward to. Well, this morning, I am um, struck by the word courage. And so as we come to God in prayer this morning, I am um, seeking courage and I'm praying cor courage for us that that we would have the courage um, to do the things that are presented to us and to be mindful of where God is moving us and calling us even when it feels a little hard or um, ungraspable uh, or unclear. So um, let us join together this morning and ask God for courage in whatever spaces we have where that is needed. So uh, let us start with a moment of silence as we pray together. Good morning, God. We give you thanks for another morning, another day where we can come together and we can start this day or pause in this day and receive what, what you have for us. Receive your spirit and the refreshment, the, the reset that we need in this day, um, before this day, at the end of this day, throughout this day, in order to be what it is that you want for us to be today. Certainly gracious, certainly focused, certainly um, open and available. But God, this morning we're also mindful um, of our need to be courageous and so grateful that as we look at your example and our call to follow you, that you are the picture of courage, courage and humility and boldness when it would be so much easier to choose something else. So this morning, I just ask us to pause and ask for you to step into this space of corporate prayer and reveal to us where we need courage, but also but also strengthen us, lift us up where we need that courage. God, we know where that is and, and maybe we just haven't been attentive to it. Maybe we're just hoping if we don't think about it, then we won't um, have to do it. Or if we um, are feeling unclear, if we just hang on, hang on a little bit longer, that it will not only be more clear, but we'll be more ready. But God, this morning, there's an area of each of our lives where you're just calling us out of the boat. And I'm so grateful for the way that you reveal scripture to us as, as it is relevant to us, that if we will allow ourselves to be familiar with it, rooted in it, grounded in it, that in the moments when we most need to be reminded, it is there. And so God, I'm mindful today of when, of when and how not only you, you calm the storms of our lives, which gives us permission, it gives us um, access to, to courage, uh, to confidence, to hope, right? We can, we can have all of that because of you and your ability to, to bring peace where there is chaos or uncertainty. But God, also that you call us out of the boat. You don't just calm the storm, but you call us out of the boat and you call us to take big steps that might feel crazy or that, that might feel too big for us. But God, 
you have shown us, you have taught us that if when we're taking those steps, if we stay focused on you, we're going to be fine. That won't, they won't be insurmountable. They won't be so big. They won't be so scary. So God, this morning, we just take a moment in the silence of this space and lift up to you that in our lives for which we need courage. God, we give you thanks. Thank you. Thank you for hearing us and knowing and meeting us here. And so, God, wherever we need courage today, whether it's the courage to speak up, whether it's the courage to, to make an invitation, whether it's the courage to try the new thing, whether it's the courage to walk away from the old, whether it's the courage to say no to something that is harming us or saying yes to something that's good for us, God, give us the courage. We know, we know, and we we rejoice in remembering yet again that all things are possible through you. So help us, help us to stay focused and fixed on you, that our hope may be in you, and that the courage that we need for this day and for the next thing will be easily accessible and found in your spirit. So God, um, walk with us this day. And we give you thanks for where we anticipate giving you praise and thanksgiving for where we saw you and how you moved. Amen. Amen. Friends, thanks for joining me this morning. I hope that um, whatever today holds for you or wherever this finds you, that you feel refreshed and that you go forth knowing you have the courage Christ offers. Have a great day.